Welcome to Password State Tutorials. In this video I'd like to show you how to begin creating folders and password lists. First I'll give you an explanation of what these are. A password list is used to store one or more password records and the purpose of folders is to logically group together password lists. To add a folder, either right click an existing folder in the navigation tree or passwords home and select add folder or you can use the menu system on the left hand side to perform the same thing. If you then just give your folder a name and click save. Likewise with password lists you can either right click under a folder or passwords home or you can use the menu system on the left hand side to create one. There are two different types of password lists. Private allows you to store your own personal passwords and no one else in the system is able to get access to them. Shared password lists are more team focused and should be used when two or more people need to access the passwords that have been saved into it. I'll create a shared password list and call it Windows Passwords. I'll give it an image which is uh, relevant to my password title. And being the creator of a password list automatically gives you administration permissions to it. This means that you can turn settings on or off for the password list. And an example might be you might want to hide the passwords from non-admin users and disable the copy to clipboard feature. So if so, you just need to tick the settings. To further customise your list, you can add or remove fields as you deem necessary. For example, if you are intending on saving website logins into this password list, you'd simply tick the URL field. Or if the standard fields aren't exactly what you need, it is possible to configure one of ten generic fields to further customise your password list. All you need to do is enable it and give it an appropriate name. There are a few different types of data sets that you can choose for these generic fields depending on what you would like to store in them. Because this is an email address I'll leave it as a text field and then if we click save that will now add in the Windows password list underneath my temporary folder. Now we're ready to begin adding passwords into this list and applying permissions so other users can view and modify those passwords. That concludes this tutorial but for more videos please see our website which is www.clickstudios.com.au